Uh, we need this. Yeah. This thing. Yorkshire. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> this is one of the most important ingredients for Yorkshire. So Yorkshire tea. is the best. Yeah, Yorkshire tea is the best. Is Just like tea. climbing in the UK is the best in Yorkshire. Is it? Um. <laughs> <laughs> Malum? Sport I'm, climbing probably is. I'm not no? going on the record to say that. <laughs> It didn't come out, didn't come out of our mouth. <laughs> no. Yeah, we're safe. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Nearly got us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so Yorkshire tea, sorted. And then we need scones, clotted cream jam. This is another special. So first, you smell? Good, happy. Oh, it's a good, it's a good month that one. It's good. The next, the next important thing with a British tea is to make sure that you put the tea bag in and then the water on top. Okay. Whereas, because sometimes when uh, if you have a, a continental tea, they'll so bring exactly they'll, they'll, they bring you they bring the water, water and you have to and you have to put the tea bag. Yeah, as the water's already gone slightly cold, yeah. so then it's not brewing quite as well. Good. What's your brewing time? Uh, I always think a nice starting point for any beginner is around a one and a half minute brew time. <laughs> is it? Yeah. I yeah, think okay. it allows the flavours to draw out, the okay. aroma to develop in the top of the pot and uh, just in for a good evening then. And it's just enough time to cut a slice of cake. So nothing down here is constructed very well. Yeah, you, you totally could make it right. And I think it's this philosophy of hard, hard climbing is won through hard work and an attitude where you'll just deal with whatever you're given. And it, see, it feels soft to give yourself perfect pads, perfect cracks, heating, you know, all this sort of stuff. So when it's harsh, it makes you work hard and it creates the right training environment down here. And I walk in the store every time and I just know that I'm, I'm very, very motivated. Like here is where hard work starts and that creates good climbing. Yeah, so we're at uh, Bolstones in the Peak District it's a very wintry day, the best conditions for gripstone. Uh, and we're at a little route called Ray's Roof. The climb is a grade of E76C. So not like a massive grade, but I think the little trophy here is that it's never been on sighted before. So we're hoping that Adam is going to uh, show us the way, and make the first on site. It's hot <laughs> and it's cold <laughs> and it's super tricky <laughs> and every try you like lose a lot of energy and uh, I mean it's such a complex series of moves like you never know like where you want to place your fist and like how deep you want to get and like when to start <laughs> I don't know it's a big mystery, and uh, what's really cool, it's a, it's a really unique shape 
that requires such a complex series of moves. Oh, I'm not disappointed at all, no. No. I mean, the expectation on this was to not on-site it, for me personally, because the route's been around for multiple decades. Really good British climbers have tried to on-site it. American climbers have tried to on-site it. And no one has. So I was really pleased that he just persevered with it and started to work out his sequence so that he could actually get up it. Pete and I have been using the cellar for about 13 years or so and we've never really set very many grades down here. After 13 years there's a lot of problems, circuits, projects and you want to give them some kind of difficulty but we always find it very hard to relate what we do in the cellar to the real world and we had this one person that we have like faith that they are such a good sport climber, but also a really good crack climber. <laughs> they would be the answer, and that's Adam. So we put all our faith and trust in Adam. He's the master. We will bow to him. This is much higher than I expected. <laughs> yes. Welcome. <laughs> you know Straight what though, you can tell he's a proper crack climber, because rather than walking, he actually makes progress <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. with his hands in the crack. Yeah. This is the kitchen sideboards mm -hmm. from the kitchen that we ripped out to renovate the house. And we had nothing. And we're like, right, yeah. let's just get the kitchen and just put yeah. it on the roof. And we made the century crack replica. Uh -huh. Also, an important thing that we need to tell you about early, yeah. this cross here uh -huh. is um, a DIY mistake. Uh -huh. And inside here, there's a nail. Okay, okay. So okay. you always have to look yeah. for the cross yeah. and okay. don't. Don't do this against yeah, it, because yeah, you'll yeah, cut yourself. Yeah. Uh, and nothing's safe as well. So <laughs> always presume that something might break or okay. fall down. And uh, we've only got old mattresses, so... We actually set this as a, a slight replica of change. Of oh, change? <laughs> Is that what you we were, got, is that we what got you were inspired. thinking about? We got inspired. <laughs> like, change? Like, where the fuck there is a mono finger lock? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but there's a drop knee. Can you see the drop knee in between here? Can you see any drop knees? We, we saw you drop kneeing and then we were like, we need to see that. And we saw you drop kneeing in a roof. We got no, it uh, changes drop kneeing in a, in a corner. In, in a, a corner. Heater. <laughs> Tom, we got it wrong. <laughs> I'm I'm genuinely shocked. I thought you'd come down here and go. This looks just like change. Yeah. <laughs> Has it surprised you? Yes, in a good way. It's too posh. I I think. I can't believe. <laughs> I still so clean. I spent half a day cleaning the cellar <laughs> because I was like, we cannot have Adam in the cellar and it'd be a complete shit tip. <laughs> And, and actually, I will also say, did. Uh, you're yeah. the only person I've ever cleaned the cellar for. Ah. Ever. Ever. We could just give anything a grade in relation to Ondra, so O grades. The O grading system starts at zero, so if Adam flashes anything, this is O zero. And we move up the grade, so one, two, three. So one will be, it will take him one session, so that could be second go, or it could be 25th go in a session. It's always 01. 02 is two sessions, 03, three sessions, and so on. So this is the crack you spent one hour on? Yeah. Yeah, spin, yeah. 
So as soon as he flashes something, it's 0 forever. You can never take this away. You can't argue with it. It's impossible. But anything that he comes down here and, say, has one session and doesn't do it, we know it's at least 0 2 There's a lot of weight here on your <laughs> attempts on these things because everything in the O grades are getting set by you. <laughs> and these are confirmed O okay. grades now. So we've graded everything in this cellar in an O grade. Okay. And now we're quietly wondering whether you do them in what we think. <laughs> and feet, feet are key, just keep thinking feet on this one. Yeah, good oven. Really good. Yeah, really good. Ooh. I wish I had a slightly bigger... I mean that's just like amazing amazing for us because we've never had anybody come down here who's really been i don't think who's really been quite as psyched as adam was yesterday no. i mean pe people have been sort of like interested but never come with the same uh enthusiasm i think so for us yeah it's just really cool that's it come on come on spin it back Yeah, really good. so many years with just me and Pete doing this stuff down here and then to have someone who's good at this style of climbing and get to see them actually trying hard and getting like a good flow and oh it's, it's great nice come on yeah nice Pete come on Broke. <laughs> Swing just broke. Yeah. In you? In, no. All right. In the volume. <laughs> well, the, that's why you have to be careful around here. Sorry about the breakage there. You can Some, leave. Some things are meant to be. Some things are meant to be. Yeah. 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 <laughs> We're going to go to the highest level of cakeage that we can, <laughs> which is the mighty British scone. So this. We have to prepare carefully with two key ingredients. One being the highest level of calories that you can possibly fit in a jar of cream. <laughs> and then the other one is a jam. So it can be strawberry jam or raspberry jam. I actually like to give it a little, just a little, a little stir because what you'll find is the tea bag sinks to the bottom and you get the, the sort of flavor also kind of sinks to the bottom. And the important thing here is when you pour that you don't drop the lid of the uh, the teapot off. So you have to hold it. And a good pour height. Good cup of tea. <laughs> that's a lovely pour. Yeah. Oh, that's surprisingly good. <laughs> this is the important sound. The and then and then finger underneath. And then you're ready. 
little finger out. Mm. That little finger out as well. Oh, that's a cracking cuppa. Because I thought some of your chips look too old school and oh, yeah. you need to be boost your <laughs> seller. So here are the boosters. Oh, they man. are actually called boosters. I designed them and you are actually the first who will have the pleasure to use them. Oh, <laughs> yes. that doesn't look so good off. Yes. Yes. Oh, brilliant. Oh, thanks very much. Oh, so like dual, so cool. dual text, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. So you can't pinch them. Yeah, and, and on, eventually, like you can use them like on the top of the volumes from this side. Yeah, at yeah. least like it's holdable as a hold, but you can't really heel hook it. Come on! Yes. Nice. Come on! Come on! Come yes. on! Come on! To get their left hand, so just try to match. Yes, try to match. Oh, now I think it's really hard. Come on, okay, don't give up. Come on, oh, yeah, that's just this move and it's done. Well, not done, but come on. Come on, come on. Yes. Yeah, good. Yeah, good. Come on. Yep. Yeah. Come on. Come on, come on. Squeeze. Yes. Good. Come on. Come on, Adam. Come, Come on. on. Yeah, nice. Good. Ah! Come on. Come on, squeeze. Squeeze on the last bit. Oh, it's so nice. sweaty with my fingers. Yeah. <laughs> Century crack simulator. If you do it 40 times, it's as long as the real century crack. So the goal is just try to do as many times as possible. Back and, back and forth, back and forth. At least I hope I can do 10. <laughs> Just, just enough ham for your left uh, space for your left foot, and you can just put it straight in, and then straight out again. And then just slide it in, and then slide it straight out again. That's it. Yeah, good. That's it, Adam. And then again, just leave just enough space to be able to put one foot in, and then immediately take it out. Yeah, that's it. My shins are hopeless. <laughs> okay. Oh, good effort. Yeah, that's good effort. That's good effort. It's, uh, it's hard on the shins. It's hard on the shins. It's very specific, though, isn't it? Yeah. This is stiff. Like. <laughs> Just... I thought you looked, were looking really good. I was no, like, I was like settling in here. Yeah. It's all good. No. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would need to like 
build the, this power. Yeah. It was kind of sad because I wanted like I want to try hard. I want to fucking like put up the fight, but all of a sudden it was like, bah. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it happens even in normal face climbing if you're completely out of shape. I am ashamed because it must have looked like I didn't try hard enough. <laughs> Why should people visit the grit? Why? <laughs> because... <laughs> what was so good about Adam coming over? <laughs> what was good about having Adam over? I think it was mainly the cellar. <laughs> you can't say that one there. Okay, oh, no, no. what was so good about bringing Adam on the grit stone? Uh, it was a really good warm. It was really good warm up for the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> now, what do you think was good about bringing Adam to the grit stone? Um, <laughs> exactly what you said. It's a good warm up for the cellar. <laughs> <laughs> no, seriously. No, seriously. I actually think it was a really good place to learn some of the techniques that he would use in the cellar. <laughs> You are incredible guys. <laughs> <laughs> so I think that sums it up pretty much. Yeah. Uh, but it was really good having Adam over. In the cellar. Like it was, genuinely. Mm. No, yeah it was. And yeah, I think no, no. when he comes back, he'll probably head to the cellar. Yeah, I think if he came back to the Peak District, he would want another session in the cellar. Oh, he does? Yeah, like on the messages last night, yeah. he was dead keen, wasn't he? Yeah. For another sesh. Yeah. <laughs>